First of all, you want to keep the person as comfortable as possible. Moving them would just kill them, so no moving. How comfortable do you want to get? All right. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's, that's good. All right. So first of all, you may ask him, did you see the bike? Did you yeah. see this? Yeah. What color was the snake? I think it was like uh, anaconda. Anaconda looking. Yeah. Lots of bright colors. <laughs> Excellent. So straight off the, uh, the plane from Brazil yeah. comes the anaconda. The, uh, what we want to do is sometimes circle the area where the bite was to make it a little bit easier for the ambulance later. We want to apply the first bandage over the top. We don't want to move the person as much as possible, but you want to keep nice and simple. So you're going to wrap the first bandage. It's going to go around and around. Firm, but not compression tight, yeah? You don't want to sort of cut off his circulation so much that his uh, fingers are going to go pale or blue or gangrenous, if you hold it there long enough. So the first one will go in there and lock in place. The second is what we want to create is a vortex going up the arm, wrapping up the arms. Whereabouts are your biggest lymphatic lymphs? Armpits, groins, yeah? Chest when we're younger, neck. These are all the sore areas when we get colds and flus and what have you. So what I want to do is to make sure I grab the fingers basically stopping it from going down and then back up again. So the first one just goes around the fingers and then we're going to use half the bandage each time we go around, yeah? I am going to tuck in the thumb at this point. Going around and around the merry-go-round. He looks like a mummy. He's a daddy. <laughs> He's young, probably an uncle only. Around and around. Yeah, I'm not that, like, not that young. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did we say goes up to the armpit, yeah? Yep. Firm, but not necessarily compressing. How's that feeling? It's actually not very tight at all. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like those bandages that have got the rectangle on them? They they pull them to a square. Yeah. So you know there's got the right tension. Exactly. There is uh, bandages that you can get that actually move around to show you how much compression or how much bandage you, you're giving out they there. Come in the snake kits. That's the ones. Yeah. Do you go out very often? Yeah. <laughs> well we yeah. Do some head stuff and Yes, yes, that's exactly yeah, the ones. A lot of our schools have got to have them, especially out west. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look, I, I, I went to school in Fairfield and we had snakes there as well. Yeah, that's the one. Um, all right, so what we're doing here, we're going to keep the person as still as possible. Do we get them to walk up and down the street? No. He will just stay here until help arrives. Now, we can also immobilize the area too. Now, by immobilization, we can use a few different techniques. If you have um, oh God, I saw it before. Yeah, that's the one. We can use these splints. They've got a little bit, I'll pass it around. They've got a little bit of aluminium inside of it. So you can actually just stretch it out, wrap it around there and go around. Um, these are also good with like fractures leaving him in position as well. Um, we use these a lot. You can pass these around. You can, you can play. It's like um, remember those Gumby things that we used to bend as kids. Well, we did. 